This episode of Safe Moon Night will cover Safe Moon Price and Daily Volume. Riddle me this. Safe Moon latest updates. Fight the FUD. If you've been able to hack into my night computer and survey my feed, congratulations. You deserve to be subscribed, able to like, and able to comment on this data source. Please share this video to boost the server algorithm to get this information on SafeMoon to others. For more night content, make sure to access and follow my Twitter feed. I am SafeMoon Night. Alfred, provide a live feed to SafeMoon's price and daily volume. Yes, sir. Seems as though SafeMoon's current price is 0.0005104 with a daily volume of 320,000. We have a lot of FUD to get to today, so let's move on with the video. But first, riddle me this. In my last dataset video, I showed you a photo of an enigma that I found while I was roaming the streets of Gotham. Were you able to figure it out? For those of you who did, well done. For those of you who are still trying, pause the video after I read the riddle again, as I'll say the answer right after. The riddle read, a bunch of eggs, or hours in a day. This keeps crypto safe, so don't give it away. The answer is, a seed phrase. Now, on to the next section. A quick update regarding SafeMoon's team. SafeMoon just hired their new Director of Products, and I put out a tweet saying, SafeMoon Army, meet the new Director of Products for SafeMoon. Products? You mean like the exchange? Welcome to the SafeMoon Army, Kyle Bryant. Also, SafeMoon's first episode of their podcast went live today on the official SafeMoon YouTube channel. It was about an hour long and featured Joshua Chilcutt, Cheese, Caroni, Hayden, and even had Sketch in it. The episode was very well done, but of course, there had to be fun about it. Here's a post I put out on the SafeMoon Discord. It says, Some people fudding saying that SafeMoon lied again about the podcast. They say it wasn't a podcast, just a YouTube video. Video. Yeah, you're right. It wasn't a podcast. It was more. Great audio. Great video. Surpassed the expectations of a podcast. Enough of this FUD. Fudders, you have nothing left. I guess you can't please everyone. And thanks to the Fudders. Thanks for pointing out that SafeMoon once again exceeded expectations. Alright, now on to the next segment. Fight the FUD. Let's dive right into the fight and take this FUD head on. This is pertaining to the Gabe wallet and the transactions to and from BitMart. So buckle in, grab your popcorn and brace yourselves for facts. A video was released recently by Crypto Control and I want to be clear here and give credit where credit is due. Alfred and myself have always appreciated Crypto Control's videos in the past. This is no way an attack on him personally, but instead on the FUD he's displaying in his video. Myself and Alfred also want him to go back to making his what he calls his stupid math videos regarding SafeMoon as they were very informative. It is clear that Control believes he's doing good by spreading his information regarding SafeMoon. He wants people to see the light and see what he sees. However, what he sees as truth is his truth, but not necessarily the absolute truth. Nobody knows what the absolute truth is, but a few people. And I assure you, these few people do not include YouTubers or individuals who hold spaces. Now, time to address the FUD. First, he shows a supposed leaked screenshot of Coroni with the Gabe wallet address being shown over and over again. First of all, who takes a screenshot like this? A bit suspicious that Popeye had this screenshot available, don't you think? Nah, but that's not that big of a deal. Moving on, this text clearly states that the Gabe wallet is John's wallet. However, did he mean his personal wallet or another business account wallet that he manages? For the sake of this video, let's just say that this is Crony's personal wallet. Well, let's take a look at the last message which said, Exclude this wallet. Hmm, that doesn't sound like he wants funds deposited into the Gabe wallet, but instead is trying to make sure that this Gabe wallet is not included in whatever transaction is being made, which we don't know the type of transactions. Third, Crypto states that this Gabe wallet receives millions, with an S, plural, millions from BitMart. 
Here, take a listen. Absolutely no proof. And when they say that, they're saying that the moon dog is absolutely no proof of being John's wallet, even though it receives millions from BitMart. There it was. Well, I assure you, this wallet does not receive millions from BitMart. And yes, I have proof and evidence of this. Unlike the Fudders, who have only speculation and lies as their allies. Look closely. Now, I'm no expert in reading these transactions, as reading crypto transaction hashes is not my forte. However, it doesn't take a genius like Dr. Freeze to interpret the transactions being made here. Let's take a look at the transaction hashes on the BSC network first. Here, these are all the transactions being deposited into the Gabe wallet. These are all the transactions from BitMart deposited into the Gabe wallet. I took the liberty to cross-reference the amount of BNBs deposited in each transaction and found the price of BNB on the day of the deposit and added the totals together. You can see the numbers here and the total of BNB deposited into the Gabe wallet from BitMart. It amounted to... One million ninety-five thousand dollars, not millions or twenty million. Uh, but what if this twenty million that is spoken about was deposited by different addresses? Good question. And I have the answer. I totaled every single deposit in history that went into the Gabe wallet, and the total was only one point one million dollars. So. Where are these millions and millions of dollars, or this $20 million you're speaking of? I didn't find it. Ah, wait. I forgot Etherscan. Etherscan shows all the transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. Perhaps most of this $20 million was deposited from the Ethereum blockchain instead. Yeah, I forgot about those. Or did I? Of course I didn't. Here, take a look here. These are all the transactions to the Gabe wallet from BitMart on Etherscan. Now, I did the same thing that I did with BSC Scan. I found the value of Ethereum on May 1st, 2021, which is when all of these BitMart transactions were made. And you can see there were four transactions all on the same day, which totaled $56,000. Not much to look at here, but if you add up all of the deposited transactions going into the Gabe wallet, it comes out to $54,763. Hmm. Now, let's take a look at the combining total of BSC Scan and Ether Scan. When you combine BSC Scan and Ether Scan for the Gabe Wallet in its entire history, it shows that the entire total of deposits into this wallet equaled $1.164 million. This includes every single transaction ever received in history. Every transaction, not just BitMart, but every single transaction that came into the Gabe Wallet. So, my question to you is where? Is this $20 million that you speak of that went into the Gabe wallet or millions of dollars and millions of dollars that you're speaking about that went into the Gabe wallet? I didn't find it. Am I missing something here? If there's hard evidence, show it already. Let's end the dance and show the evidence that you have instead of this continuous speculative accusations with no substance. Now, that takes care of that falsehood, but I'm not done yet. Take a listen here. And if we pull up this address, OXC52919, 200 billion should be going to that C5291 account right there. Okay, so, and then exactly 412 days ago, we see going from this account to the OXC 52919, 412 days, the 200 billion safe moon. So this very- Ah, yes, he is correct. The 200 billion did come from this OX79 address and got deposited into the 0XC5 address. This is shown here clearly, however, why does he fail to mention the next transaction that's right above it? Let me show you what really happened. There was a transfer from the 0x79 wallet. I'm not sure what wallet this is, but I'm thinking maybe this is the Iron Bank wallet Coroni is speaking of. The 200 billion got transferred to the wallet in question, the 0xc5 wallet. But then, several hours later, this 0xc5 wallet with the 200 billion safe moon tokens was then transferred to the BitMart wallet as seen by Arrow 3. Now, my question is, why did he leave this part out? Doesn't this prove that the 200 billion safe moon token safely made its way to the BitMart wallet? The blockchain doesn't lie, right? Again, am I missing something? Because this is too easy to debunk. 
way too easy. And I'm not done just yet. Crypto then continues stating this. Okay, so, and then exactly 412 days ago, we see going from this account to the OXC 52919, 412 days, the 200 billion safe moon. So this very clearly demonstrates that this is real and that this is John's wallet. Anybody who's honest enough with themselves can see that this is John's wallet. This does demonstrate that the discussion between Papa and John was real, sure. However, that second part where he says, anybody can see that this is John's wallet, really? How does anything that you just showed with the transaction hashes show that this is undoubtedly John's wallet? It doesn't. And as a matter of fact, just about everything that was showed in these segments has been debunked and shown that there's no evidence for all of these allegations. One last time, listen here. I imagine this number is probably way higher than what we actually think it is, but the main money maker for John and them is BitMart. We see millions and millions and millions of dollars of Tether going from BitMart to Gabe. Ah, this statement was debunked. Again, there's no evidence. Instead, there are unknowns, blank spaces in the narrative, and the fudders are filling in these unknowns with their truths, but not the truth. Instead, lies and untruths that fit their FUD story. Again, this is not an attack on crypto control, but instead a debunking of the FUD that has been going around lately regarding the Gabe wallets and the BitMart transactions. Serious allegations require serious evidence, and these screenshots were too easily debunked. If you have more evidence, let it be known. Let's go. But what do I know? I'm just a crime-fighting vigilante that jumps from rooftop to rooftop. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. We busted through the 1,200 subscriber mark. Thank you, Safe Moon Army. If you liked viewing this content, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're aware when I release my next video. Please, share the video to get the news on the Safe Moon on to others. And make sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest news on Safe Moon as it's happening. We're growing more and more every day and broke through the 1200 follower mark. For those of you who follow, retweet, comment, like, and spread the word of Safe Moon and spread my message, Alfred and I sincerely thank you. A couple days ago, I put out a poll asking which chess emblem the Safe Moon Army prefers, and the results are in. It looks like A, the Safe Moon color choice, won in a landslide. Looks like Lucius has his work cut out for him. Look, there's no double standards in the Safe Moon Army regarding Coroni. In the Futter's minds, Coroni is guilty as charged. But who made you judge, jury, executioners? Why is your speculative truth the absolute truth? And anyone else who sees other possibilities is delusional. To close yourself off from any other possibilities only diminishes your ability to find what you seek. But what exactly are you seeking? Vengeance? Justice? These are elements I know too well, and closing yourself off from the possibilities will lead you astray. In the meantime, I remain bullish that Coroni is not the villain, and that Safehoon is a tech company looking to deliver innovation to the DeFi space while changing the lives of those who stand by their side. Stay vigilant. Stay patient. Stay safe, Moon, and I'll stay safe, Moon Knight.